high-speed chase in New London tonight ends with a tractor trailer on its side and the driver in the hospital suffering from gunshot wounds. Police shot the man who was allegedly armed when they caught him. News A's Tina Detail is on the scene in New London where neighbors came out to see what this was all about. The box truck remains on its side here at the intersection of Bank Street and Jefferson Avenue. Now we'll zoom in to take a better look at the truck. Sources tell us police were in pursuit of this stolen truck, and that's when the accident happened. I heard like a loud noise, so I look, I, I thought it was a two car collided, and I saw like a cloud of dust, and I look, when I look, I saw the truck down. Carmen Feliciano was traveling alongside the box truck on Bank Street when she heard that crash. She says her heart was racing. She parked around the corner to calm her nerves, and that's when she heard shots fired. This picture taken by the Day of New London shows officers surrounding the cab of the truck, weapons drawn. I, come, I turned around by the funeral home. I heard the first shot. And right after that, I made it out the, close to the gas station here. And I heard, like, I think it was two or three, or probably more. Um, then I said, oops, that scared me. So I State police, along with New London police, are now investigating what led up to this crash and subsequent shooting. The truck apparently tipped over as the driver tried to make a left onto Jefferson Avenue. I saw when they, they put him into the ambulance, he had the, the oxygen on. You know, I hope everything's okay because he looked like a young kid. The driver was originally taken to Lawrence and Memorial Hospital here in New London, but later transported by LifeStar to Yale New Haven. On the scene in New London, Tina Detell, News 8.